calling it a love song Hey guys, it's Mary Jam and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff. So we have five piles here today. Pile number one says Sagittarius. Okay, pile number two says Capricorn. Pile number three says Aquarius. Pile number four says Scorpio. And pile number five is a pair of jeans. So these are the five piles. Please pick as many as you guys would like. Please watch the entire video. I love you and let's get straight into it. Hey guys, it's Mary Jim and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff. Sending love and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are safe as well and let's get straight into the reading. So pile number one, who is thinking about you, who's on your mind or all the other stuff, okay? So y'all chose pile number one. So pile number one says Sagittarius. So definitely a Sagittarius could be thinking about you. I can definitely see you being on the mind of the Sagittarius or any other fire sign actually as a matter of fact so like a Leo, a Sag or an Aries but mostly Sagittarius. I'm also getting some like um Cancer Scorpio maybe some yeah Cancer Scorpio Pisces definitely getting some water sign energy so a water sign or a fire sign could definitely be thinking about you so what are they thinking okay so we got the I'm sorry they came in reverse we got the ten of hearts upright ace of swords upright we have the eight of swords that came upright and also the nine of wands that came upright so wait let me be in the center guys okay so who is thinking about you guys so we got the i'm sorry they came in reverse so i'm getting the vibe that um this person um maybe it's kind of like <laughs> i mean okay this person really does care about you like honestly i feel like they really do love you and yeah i feel like it's someone that you just kind of lost contact from like i just feel like it's someone you haven't spoken to in a really long time like i'm not getting like they like you know some big drama thing like i'm just getting like this person honestly like they just like are thinking about you like oh wow like i haven't you know um heard from this person in a while like i just feel like we're drifting apart and it's just like yeah i feel like they really do miss you and they really care about you a lot bro like yeah as someone that you were close to in the past and it's kind of like they feel like you guys are drifting apart you guys are just like you know losing contact it's like maybe before you guys so like you know message each other every second or third day but now it's like you guys message each other like every um third to fourth month or like you guys only message each other like once a year or like you didn't even wish them on their birthday this year and it's like they just feel like you know it's like damn like you know that should hurt it so yeah i can definitely see them you know being a bit upset about that if you didn't wish them on their birthday like yeah maybe you didn't wish them on their birthday you didn't wish them on like on a promotion or like you haven't you know like reached out to them now and it's kind of like they feel like it's a bit like a sting like all step in the face you know because it's like ouch but i mean we've got the ten of hearts so it's like they really do care about you bro and it's like they're only mad because it's like they feel really close to you you know and then we've got the ace of swords yeah and the eight of um swords so yeah definitely they are really thinking about you a lot you know i feel like they're honestly taking it like you know to the heart that you guys aren't speaking right now like they're honestly like wow like so you're just like not about it takes me like you're not about to talk to me like okay i see how it is like that's what they're busy thinking right now bro 100 percent they're thinking about you a lot they're getting really negative thoughts in their mind as well we've got the eight of swords that came upright as well they feel like yeah they just feel like you guys are drifting apart and i kind of can see them being a bit prideful especially if they are fire sign they kind of don't want to be the first person to message you because maybe they kind of feel like they're always messaging you or you've always been messaging this person and it's like they never get back to you and now that you finally stop messaging them it's kind of like they realize that actually they do like it when you message them and like they're not about to be like okay like i'm gonna double text because they want they don't want to be annoying you know but yeah i'm getting the vibe but they could be very prideful um yeah or like they just kind of feel like they're too busy to text you right now but yeah, I'm just getting the vibe, but it's like, they could take you, like, they could obviously, you know, do something about them. If they're, like, sad, or, like, they're mad, or they're pressed that you guys aren't talking, like, obviously, they could do something about it. But it's like, they're not thinking that through, like, they're not thinking about, okay, it's like, you know, when you have, like, obsessive thoughts, it's kind of like, yeah, it's like obsessive thoughts, and it's like, they're not really, you know, thinking of, like, an action or, like, a solution. They're just like, okay, I'm just gonna worry, and worry, and worry, and they're not gonna, like, they're not trying to think of, like, a solution, you know, definitely. They even got the nine of wands upright, yeah, they feel very hurt, they feel, like, personally attacked, and they don't want to get hurt, bro, like, honestly, they feel very hurt by you, um, but yeah. Anything else? Nope, so that is what I got for pile number one. I really hope the video resonates. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys all so much, and let's get into the next one. 
Hey guys, it's Mary Jo and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff sitting love and night. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are safe as well. And let's get straight into it. Part number two, who is thinking about you? So we've got the Capricorn. Ooh, yes bro, Capricorn. So definitely this person could 100% be a Capricorn, a Virgo or a Taurus. Like honestly, I'm getting strong Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, like strong earth sign energy, like 100% bro, because I feel like when earth signs think about you, when like, bro, when, when an earth sign starts to think about you, bro, that's when you know, like bro, don't even get me started, like if you have an earth sign being pressed about you, bro, that's when you know you're special, because earth signs are not people to, you know, dwell on thinking about people, I mean, obviously they do and they can, but like this person's pressed about you, bro. Like I'm telling you now, like let's look at your cards, bro. So we got the five of clubs upright. We got the I love you universe. What did I say, bro? Press, press, press. So, <laughs> okay, we got the ace of pentacles upright, ten of pentacles upright, and the page of wands. I wouldn't expect the money, the pentacles, like, bro. Like obviously we're gonna get the pentacles because I mean it's a Capricorn. Like what else would we get? So um, who is thinking about you, bro? Like let me quickly take a look at this. So. Um, with the five of clubs like that tells me jealousy bro yeah definitely jealousy 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 and envy so this person that's thinking about you honestly i feel like bro like i feel like it's a friend or like it's a work colleague bro like that's who's thinking about you bro like i feel like it's a work colleague or a friend but yeah this person is like jealous of you but i feel like it's playful jealousy you know where it's like a bit of bantering like i feel like it's an acquaintance that's thinking about you yeah bro it's like you guys are close but you guys aren't that close where i would say like it's a friend friend you know but like it could be a friend even but i feel like it's more of an acquaintance that's busy thinking about you or someone that you don't even know that well and maybe they kind of see you like yeah bro like i feel like this could be someone that is like you know not obsessed with you but it's kind of like they kind of like to have this whole impression that you guys are way closer than you guys actually are. Like, I've had people like that, you know, where they be like, oh, yeah, this is my best friend. And, like, oh, they, someone calls me their best friend. I'm like, oh, I didn't... Okay, so sorry my camera cut off, but like I was busy saying, like, yeah, like, you know, this person could just be thinking that you guys are way closer than you really are, but I feel like you guys aren't really that close, you know? But yeah, this person definitely does feel a bit of jealousy, and I feel like that's why they're thinking about you. Maybe they're busy comparing themselves to you, and yeah, they're getting a bit jealous. Like, I'm getting the vibe, but they could definitely be stalking you, or like, yeah, I definitely can see them, like, you know, stalking you, and like, maybe talking about you, but like, for the most part, just like, you know, thinking about you in... By themselves or like yeah they're just like thinking about you a lot bro so we got that love that came in reverse so like that really does tell me like this person is not close to you they don't know you that well definitely bro but they like to think that they know you like this person does a lot of projections so like they think that they know you really well they're like oh yeah i know this person i know them and i was like fam do you really but yeah and then we also got the ace of pentacles that came upright so um I mean, because these are really good cards to get, I mean, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, so yeah, they don't know you read that well, but the thing is, it's not bad, I mean, the thing is, <laughs> it's like, they want to be your friend, bro, like, that's, it's someone that wants to be closer to you, yeah, it's someone that wants to be closer to you, because, I mean, they think that you guys are really, you know, close friends, and maybe it's kind of like, you sometimes keep secrets from them, bro, definitely, like, I can see you, like, not telling them, like, you know, important details about your life, and, like, they're kind of being a bit pressed about it, they're like, like, why did I have to find out that you, this happened to you through another person, like, why didn't you tell me something, you know, like, it's like when your best friend, um, saying how your best friend broke up with your boyfriend, and then you don't find out from your best friend you find out through someone else and then you, someone else tells you oh yeah i did hear that so and so and so and so broke up and you're like what like why wouldn't you tell me and i feel like that's why they're thinking about you because it's like they found out something about you and it's like you didn't tell them firsthand you know you didn't tell them yourself like they had to find out something about you through a rumor through something else and it's like that's why they're thinking about you bro so it's like yeah they kind of feel a bit like you know like oh oop, okay well i thought we were close but like i guess we're not that close like that's the i'm getting but yeah, so Ace of Pentacles, Upright, and Ten of Pentacles. Like, that tell me, like, it's it's still good, though. Like, it's not like they're priest, priest, but it's like they're kind of priest, you know what I mean? I mean, abundance, yeah. I feel like they just want to talk to you again. Honestly, it's a free, and they kind of just feel like they want to be closer to you. And yeah, but like, nothing malicious, nothing of that sort. Ten of Pentacles, Upright. I can see you getting abundance, making money as well. Friendly competition, like, honestly, bro, yeah. It's a work colleague. They just want to be closer to you. But yeah, abundance, abundance, um, yeah, they they just want to, like, you know, go to the next level with you, like, it could even be a partner, yeah, it could even be a partner even, bro, but, like, I'm getting for the most part, like, it's an acquaintance or something like that, but yeah, that is who's thinking about your part number two, I really hope the video resonated, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I love you guys all so much, and let's get into the next one. 
Hey guys, it's Mary Jim and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff sending love and light. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are safe as well and let's get straight into it. Part number three, who is thinking about you? So y'all chose part number three. So it says the Aquarius bro, definitely this person is probably a um, an air sign. This person could definitely be an Aquarius. Gemini or a Libra 100% so I can see this person being an Aquarius Gemini a Libra as well as like a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Gemini Gemini like okay definitely could be a Gemini but I'm also getting that it could definitely be a Capricorn like I'm getting strong Capricorn Capricornus vibes okay so as for your cards we've got the two of hearts upright we've got the six of pentacles upright or the six of diamonds actually we've got the seven of wands in reverse we have the five of cups in reverse and then we also have the judgment that came in reverse very interesting card bro so um interesting cards actually I mean, okay, who is busy thinking about you? So, with the two of us, upright, I'm getting the vibe that, like, I'm getting the vibe that they could definitely be two people that are busy thinking about you right now. But, like, I think I'm only going to mention the one person, like, but, yeah, I feel like they are definitely, like, two people that are busy thinking about you. Like, it could be a partner and a friend that's busy worrying about you or stressing about you 100%. Like, I feel like someone could be worrying about your well-being. I mean, especially in this time, you know, like, yeah, I feel like there's this person's, like, thinking about you because they're worried about your well-being, you know. They're worried, like, are you doing okay? How are you handling um school? How are you handling your tasks and your assignments? How are you handling your social interactions? Like, yeah, I'm getting, like, a bit of, like, a motherly feel. So, this person could definitely be older than you. Yeah, definitely. I feel like this person person could be older than you or it could even be a relative yeah definitely bro so this person that's busy thinking about you like i said it's two people so like it's someone that's more in your age bracket but then there's someone that's older than you as well that's busy you know thinking about you so yeah as someone that feels really close to you and like someone that really feels protective of you and someone that cares about you and someone that's worried about your well-being like i can just see them like you know thinking like oh my word like have they eaten it have they done this yet? are they okay like how are they handling this or it's like someone you haven't seen in a really long time you know like, yeah, I feel like it's someone you haven't seen in a long time, but it's like they really do, they are, like, thinking a lot about you, like, oh, are you okay, how are you doing, and that type of stuff, you know? Like, um, for example, like, say now I, say now I haven't spoken to my friend in, like, what, six months, like, I, I, and then I finally get a number again, or I finally talk to her again, then I'm like, oh, hey, like, how are you, like, how's everything been, like, if I, like, I'm, like, you know, that type of thing where it's, like, a long lost friend, and then you finally message them again, or you finally talk to them again, and it's like, oh, my word, like, how are you, how's everything, have you gone back to school, like, what's everything, like, you know, your side, because, like, yeah, I'm just getting the vibe, it's like, they, it's like a bit of an excitement type feel, I mean, yeah, like, I'm getting, like, they are a bit excited, like, maybe they want to see you again, they miss you even, but yeah, I mean, electronic, um, communication, it's talking about getting a new phone um and yeah yeah it's like this person just like they want to talk to you again but i feel like you guys had a bit of a falling out you know like yeah i, I see you guys having a falling out but or like you guys yeah they have like you guys could have had a definitely a falling out um but they really do care about you bro like honestly they want to talk to you again like they love talking to you they want to catch up with you like, it's um, either, like, a family member or, like, it's just, like, one of your friends. Yeah, one of your friends. Like, I feel like they just want to, like, have an hour-long conversation with you. Like, they just want to talk, you, talk with you on the phone. They want to be like, hey, where are you, boo? Like, how's everything being like, bro? And they want you to spill the tea. They want you to spill the tea with them. Like, that's on period. So, we also got the seven of wands. They came in reverse. So, yeah, I'm just getting the vibe, but they want you to spill the tea. They want you to not be so guarded. They want to find out, are you really okay? Like, I'm just getting the vibe, but they want to know, are you okay, bro? Like, are you okay? Like, Eddie, are you okay? Are you okay, Eddie? Eddie? Bro, they just want to know, are you okay? How are you? Yeah, like, bro, I'm just getting that they're asking, like, a lot of obsessive questions. So, definitely could be honesty and air signs. Because we know air signs, super inquisitive people. Like, earth signs, too, they really are very caring, nurturing. And, yeah, they, they I'm just getting the vibe. But, like, this person wants to know, are you okay? Are you okay? Why is that song stuck in my head, bro? But, yeah, and then we also got the five of cups that came in reverse. So, um... <laughs> yeah i'm just getting the vibe they want you to spill the tea like they want to know how are you they just want to talk to you but yeah that's what i'm busy also have the judgment card that came in reverse so yeah like i said there are two people that are busy um thinking about you um but yeah bro i feel like someone also could be contemplating reaching out to you again 
or maybe someone's like a bit worried about like your relationship as well like maybe if you're like your partner could definitely be thinking about you and maybe they're thinking that like you want to break up with them or like you're having a bit of relationship problems and like if you're thinking like is my partner even like thinking about me like in the summer separation like are they even like you know worried about me yeah bro they are worried about you like they're all thinking about you like you are in their thoughts for 100% um, if it's like a partner that you're busy inquiring about, like, yeah, because I'm getting the vibe with this person's like, for the most part, why they're thinking about you is because they're worried about your well being. So, yeah, if you want to open up that line of communication again, that's on you. But yeah, that is what I got for part number three. I really hope the video resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys all so much, and let's get into the next one. Hey guys, it's Mary Jim and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff, sitting love and night, hope you guys are having an amazing day, hope you guys are safe as well and let's get straight into it, so part number 4, who is busy thinking about you, so we got the Scorpio, the Scorpionis, mm -mm -mm. so honestly, this person could definitely be a water sign getting strong Piscean, strong Cancerian, strong, you know, Scorpionis type vibes Sorry, like, these people are home right now, so, like, obviously. Part number four, who's busy thinking about you, bro? So, we got the soulmate card. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so let's look at your other card. So, we got the soulmate card came upright. I need you upright, bro. We got the queen of pentacles in reverse, hermit in reverse, and the strength card that came upright, bro. What the actual? What the freaking actual? Okay. Okay, so this person is busy thinking about you, bro. Honestly, like, I'm getting strong water sign vibes. Getting strong Aries vibes as well. Like, bro, I'm telling you now. Aries, Leo, Sag. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's a Scorpio. It's a freaking Scorpio that's busy thinking about you, bro. Like, honestly, lucky. So the person that's busy thinking about you, bro. So we got the soulmate call. Like, let's just, like, you know, get the and open. Like, I feel like the person that's busy thinking about you is the person that, like, you're thinking about at the same time, bro. Like, I feel like whoever you... So, like, you know, at the beginning of the video, like, when you're busy picking a pile, like, you're supposed to think about the person that you want to get a message from. Or you just, like, go with your intuition or whatever. But, like, bro, I feel like it's the person that you've been thinking about. Like, if you've been thinking about, like, a certain person, bro, they're, they're thinking about you too, bro. Like, honestly, I'm telling you now, like, bro, it's the person that you're thinking about as well. That's on period. On period. Because, like, I feel like it goes both ways. I'm getting that literally it goes both both ways and even with that i need your car bro it, it's telling me that it goes both ways so the person that you're always thinking about and stressing about they're thinking about you too i don't know why i'm being so dramatic but bro they're thinking about you too okay um yeah so we also got the queen of pentacles bro yeah they're thinking about you too queen of pentacles that came in reverse the shams game that they're thinking about you too strong water sign energy bro definitely this person is not being very practical though like i feel like they're making it really hard um to talk to you though like i feel like they could be struggling to talk to you like yeah they're struggling to talk to you or like they have they aren't talking to you or they don't want to talk to you but like they're just thinking about you but like i feel like they aren't they don't want to talk to you right now though yeah then we also got the homo card that came in reverse so so yeah it's telling me that um yeah like i'm just getting that it goes both ways bro like the person that you're thinking about is thinking about you bro like you know definitely like the mirroring stage 100 percent um but yeah i feel like they want to see you again but like they don't want to talk to you bro like yeah this person definitely is not very practical like i'm just saying that they're not very practical they don't want to talk to you but they want to see you again so you know they could definitely be like you know watching you on social media or like asking people about you but it's like they don't want to get your number like you know like bro 100 percent. like i know certain people that it's like how do I even say it, bro? Like, okay, for me personally, like, I've been, like, this could definitely be, like, a middle person. Like, I don't even know how to say it, bro. Like, I've been in a situation where, like, say now I have two friends now, right? And now I'm the middle person. Now, person A and person B are not talking. But now I'm friends with person A and I'm friends with person B, right? And now person A is busy asking me, so how's person B doing? Like, how are they doing? And then I'm like, do you want their number? And they're like, no. But they ask me every single day. Like, I feel like that's, bro, like, that's the vibe. Again, the vibe of this person is, like, asking about you. Like, they're just, like, saying, so how are they? Oh, like, I miss them. Oh, blah, blah. Like, bro, they're going on and on and on saying that they miss you so much. But then it's, like, they don't want to, like... So it's, like, but then you don't want to talk to them, but you, you keep asking about them. And, you know, it's, like, make it make sense, fam. Make, make it make sense. So, yeah. And then we also got the Leo card that came. I mean, not the Leo card. The Strength card, but which is also... We got the strength card, which is the Leo card. So yeah, I'm getting the vibe, but like they don't want to talk to you right now. Maybe they're hurt or like they feel like they just can't talk to you. But it's like they just feel like they can't talk to you, bro. They don't want to talk to you. They're like, nope, 
I'm not about to speak to them. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I'm just going to keep a low profile. Like, you know, they don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. Like, bro, what do you mean? Like, I'm getting, like, that vibe. Like, it could definitely be a crush, but, like, a heavy, heavy, heavy crush. And it's, like, y'all just not speaking to each other. It's, like, nope. We're not speaking. We're not doing that. Like, nope, nope, nope. But, yeah, y'all both miss each other, bro. So, yeah, then we got the screen called, like, up right, yeah, talking about, like, you know, sex life and everything. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, they like you, bro. I think if it's your crush, like, that you're busy wondering about, yeah, they're thinking about you, too. So, that's what I got for part number four. I really hope the video resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys all so much. And let's get into the next one. Hey guys, it's Mary Jam and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be who is busy thinking about you and all of that other Gucci 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 stuff. Sitting love and night. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are safe as well. And let's get straight into it. Pile number five, who is busy thinking about you? So y'all chose pile number five. So we got the jeans, okay? So honestly, I'm getting the vibe that who's thinking about you could definitely be a Taurus, bro. Like I'm getting strong Capricorn Virgo Taurus type vibes, bro. 100%. Like it's a Virgo. It's a Capricorn. It's a Taurus on period. So as for your cards, we've got the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Diamonds upright. We have the False Partner that came in reverse. Mm-hmm. Fool in reverse. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse and also the Ten of Swords that came in reverse. So wow. I feel like this is like someone that you had a huge falling out with and it's like someone that's like mad at you like i feel like it's someone that's mad at you bro definitely like yeah this person is really 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 mad at you bro like mm-hmm like yeah i'm getting this person like really mad at you but like i'm also getting the vibe but it could be like a boss or like an employer or like a teacher bro like yeah i feel like it's a teacher that's thinking about you or like a boss or an employer or something like that bro because i'm getting the vibe but it's like for some reason i feel like um yeah like it just feels like there's like a more of like a teacher student type vibe it feels like there's like a boss employee type vibe i'm like i can kind of see not the power dynamic but like i just feel like this person is like more yeah like you know what i mean i hope you know what i mean so yeah i'm getting the vibe but like it could definitely be like an employer or a boss like i feel like it could be um maybe someone from your old work someone like yeah someone from like your old school your old work or whatever like that but i'm getting the vibe but it's someone from your past yeah, someone from your past, 100%. Like, don't question us. Someone from your past is, like, thinking about you a lot, bro. So, yeah, eight of diamonds that came up, right? Yeah, so, they both they could definitely be in November as well. So, they could definitely be, like, a Sagittarius, Aries, um, or Leo. But, yeah, this person's, like, very independent, very confident. Um, you know, I'm just getting the vibe, but they're very well-respected. Like, that's why I'm getting the vibe. But, like, it's someone that's older than you. Yeah, yeah, someone way older than you, bro. Like, probably, like... Okay, like not that much older. Like, maybe, like, a couple months, a couple years. But, like, I just feel like they're, like, way older than you. And, like, they're thinking about you, bro. And, yeah, like, why? Like, I think they're mad at you about something, bro. Like, maybe, yeah, I feel like they're just mad about you. Like, maybe you were going to make plans with them and then you canceled last minute. Or, like, you left the job or you left the workplace and you didn't give them, like, a long enough um, notice to say that you were leaving. Or, like, something like that where you guys ended on bad terms, you know? False partner that came in reverse. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm getting the vibe that this person really did care about you. They saw, like, you know, big goals, a big future for you. They saw, yeah. Like, bro, this person's, like, saying, I saw so much potential in you, bro. And it's, like, bro, it just, like, ended up in, like, flames and hot fire. Like, that's the vibe that I'm busy getting. Like, you guys definitely ended off on bad terms. So, yeah, I don't see a lot. Of, I don't see chance of reconciliation. I mean, maybe um but i feel like it's gonna be really hard like i don't see reconciliation in this definitely not i don't see reconciliation bro yeah this could definitely be um long distance as well someone yeah maybe they kind of feel like you're being a bit irresponsible yeah or they feel like you're being too carefree like yeah i'm just that you guys really ended things off on like bad terms bro 100 percent we got the queen of wands i mean the queen of swords that came in reverse as well like that tells me you know heartless energy bro 100 percent you know um like bitchy type energy yeah being very heartless being bitter bad mouthing gossiping ten of um swords that also came in reverse so that tells me yeah it's like this is someone from your past i don't see reconciliation um and yeah, this person's like still holding things against you, definitely hundred percent. I try to, I'm trying to see like, kind of, is there something positive I can get out of this? I mean, the positive side, like I said, there is no, I don't see a chance of reconciliation, especially with the eight of diamonds upright. But I'm getting the map that it's like they're kind of like a silent hater, so I mean, they can't really do anything about it. Like it's like one of your haters or something like that, bro. Like yeah. 
But um, yeah, that's what I got for pile number five. I really hope the video resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys all so much. Please leave other video suggestions down below as well because, you know, I'm taking requests, guys. So yeah, I love you and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.